feel like I'm going to get canceled from booktube for this. So I will apologize in advance. Please don't hate me, booktube. Hey everyone, welcome back to Rima Reads. Today I'm going to be doing the Unpopular Opinions booktube tag. I saw both Frogs and Fiction and I Am Not a Booktube's uh, recent videos on them. Um, so I thought it would be fun to do it myself. I linked them both below and you should definitely check it out. So the first question is a popular book or series that you don't like. And there are a lot that I could put in this category, but I'm going to pick the one that has the highest rating on booktube versus the lowest rating for me. And that is A Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rutherford. The first book, Name of the Wind, I enjoyed. I thought it was a good fantasy series. But the second book made it very obviously clear to me that Rutherford does not know how to write women. And also, it's very rapey. The main character is 15 and has sex with all of these really, really old, a lot of older women and it's presented as like a great thing like oh my god he's so good at sex and I'm just like no he's a child he's a literal child also he literally says not all men to some girls who were raped so there's that again Rutherford does not know how to write women all the women in this series are not written well the love interest is not written well and so that all just made me hate the book so, so, so much. But even in general, like putting aside those stuff, there's no plot to this book. There's no character development. It's like just a whole bunch of side quests that Kavith goes on to become even more cool and badass than he was. Literally the only plot is that he got laid in this book and it was stupid and I hate it so much. And I just don't understand why it's so highly rated. Okay, I guess I understand why it's so highly rated because the writing is good and the world building is good. But like, can y'all really overlook those flaws? Can y'all? I don't understand. <sighs> this book brings me so much anger. So, unpopular opinion one. So the second one was a book or a series that you like, but other people don't. And this one I kind of had a hard time with. I literally had to like scroll through the list of books I've read and like find one that I've rated highly and other people haven't and it took me a really long time uh, to think of one. A lovely series by Melissa Marr. I read this book back in middle school and I loved it. I don't know if my feelings would have changed now that I'm 25 years old but I generally wasn't a big fan of like fairy like magic fairy paranormal romance novels uh but I really liked this one I thought Ashlyn was a great character and I really liked her choice at the end um maybe if I reread it I'll have a different opinion because a lot of the reviews online said it was like slow and the characters were annoying but I enjoyed it so this one question number three is a love triangle where the main character didn't end up with the person you wanted or um, an OTP you don't like. So I'm going to go and actually answer both of these questions because for an OTP I don't like, it's Vizaly and Inan from A Children of Blood and Bones and A Children of Virtue and Vengeance. I've already ranted about them so much, but I hate them so much. The worst. They're still on my mind. Anyways. For a love triangle where the main character doesn't end up with the person you wanted, I literally, like, my first thought for love triangles was, like, shoujo manga because I read a lot of shoujo manga and I kind of went down a rabbit hole of, like, all of the shoujo mangas I've read where the character doesn't end up with the person I wanted them to. And I eventually got down to, like, one of the first manga I read back in middle school and it's called Vampire Night. It's not a good manga don't recommend it but uh the main girl has like two love interests I don't even remember her name um but the love interests are Zero and Kaname and I was so in love with Zero 
my name on the manga forums uh, back in middle school was like Vampire Zero XOX. I loved him so much. Uh, but no, she ends up with Kaname, who is also like her brother or her uncle. It got really weird really fast. That's why I don't recommend this manga. It was the worst. It was so, so bad. I can't believe they did that still. Um, I haven't thought about Vampire Night for so long and then this this question just like brought everything back. Don't read it, but also she ends up with the wrong guy. Question number four is a popular genre you never reach for and I feel like I'm kind of been stuck in my little like YA fantasy sci-fi and then adult fantasy sci-fi bubble for a long time now and I don't really read much outside of it like I don't read contemporary, I don't read historical, I don't read romance, I don't read uh, horror or mystery or thriller like I really just read like my two kinds of books and that's pretty much it. Um, maybe I'll branch out once I run out of things to read in my little bubble but for now I'm good here. So. A popular or beloved character you don't like. I don't like Trish from the Divergent series. I feel like she's just very cookie cutter YA protagonist without much of a personality. But I also kind of feel like that about the Divergent series as a whole. So not a big fan of that series, but also not a big fan of her. An author you just can't seem to get into. And for this one, I will pick John Green. I really like John Green as a person. Like his YouTube videos, I watched them all the time in middle school and high school. And I really enjoyed his content on terms of videos. But in terms of books, like I read a lot of them and I could just, I couldn't get into them. But as you guys know, I like don't read real life. I, I read fantasy, so maybe that's it. Um, but yeah i'm not not a big fan but you're still a great person john green so a popular book trope you're tired of seeing an enemies to lovers where they're not really enemies they're just like disrespecting each other you know like i feel like if you're gonna have a good enemies to lovers there has to be like a good reason why they're enemies versus a lot of enemies to lovers I feel, feel like are just like let's be jerks to each other until we find each other attractive and now we're in love and I just want more from my romance subplots than that. So number nine is what movie or tv show adaption is better than the book? I feel like I'm gonna get cancelled from book two for this so I will apologize in advance. Please don't hate me, booktube. The Shadowhunters TV show, which is based off of the Mortal Instruments books. So if you like the Mortal Instruments books, I'm not judging you at all. I get it. They're fun. Um, but I personally read these back in high school, so like almost 10 years ago now. And I thought they were trash. I didn't like any of the characters. I didn't like the romance the whole possible incest but not really thing just made me so disgusted when i read those books even though i know that they're not siblings it was just like i couldn't handle it and yeah i just didn't like any of the characters and so when the tv show came out i was like i'm bored i guess i'll watch this show and i think it's also a little bit trashy but it's like the trash i like like, they made all the characters significantly more likable. Like, I really liked Simon in the TV shows. In the TV show, I did not like Simon and his stupid cheating plotline in the books, um, but I really liked him in the TV show. I liked all of his relationships. I loved him and Maya together so, so much, and I loved him and Izzy together as well, even though it was slightly rushed. So they made me like Simon, Clary, and Jace were significantly less annoying in the TV show than they were in the books, uh, but they were still annoying. I just like died every time Magnus and Alec were on screen, like the season one scene uh, 
where Magnus goes and stops Alex's wedding and like War of Hearts is playing in the background and it's just iconic to me. I really like the Shadow Hunters TV show and I don't like the books at all. Um, also like when the show got bad, like all of the characters are so attractive, I could just like look at them and ignore the plot. And in the book I would have to, you know, actually read. So yeah. I really like the Shadow Hunters TV show. It is a bit trash, but like, I like it. That is um, my unpopular opinions. Uh, if you're interested in doing this tag, like I will tag you, like just like just do it and you can say it was tagged by me. Uh, in general though, like if you ever wanna be tagged by, some, by me, like can you please let me know in the comments because I'm going to be too shy to ever tag anyone ever because social interaction uh, so like yeah let me know if you want to be tagged in something and i will tag you in future tag videos but for now everyone is tagged hopefully i wasn't hashtag canceled by all of booktube um for my unpopular opinions yeah so Thanks all and see you next time. Please comment and subscribe. Bye.